it's a lot right now. And talking to other teachers makes me feel so much better to know that I'm not alone and that my fears about being in the classroom are justified and that are felt by other people. But I'm worried about surviving this year. My husband survived a tour overseas. He doesn't know if I'll make it through my school year. And I have lung issues and I have asthma and I'm incredibly nervous. But talking to other teachers makes me feel so much better. So thank you guys for that. Thank you. And I, I, wish, I, I wish we could do something to get you out of this predicament. I wanna, I wanna call everyone at your school and tell them they need to wear a mask or I'm gonna be really <laughs> mad at them, but oh. I'm sure they'll be scared. I don't know. It's, I don't mean to make, make light of the situation, but because it's, 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 listen, I just wanna say that I've felt the same way even in New York City where I feel like, am I crazy that I'm scared? Because other people are like, it'll be fine. No. And I think that's important that we have these conversations because our, our governments and our leaders are trying to gaslight us and make us think it's okay and it's safe for reasons that are not to protect us. And so I, I want to just say to you, and I know you already know this, but I just want to say it because I'm kind of saying it to myself. It isn't safe. It's an airborne disease. I read Ken's book. It's not safe. So you're not, so all the extra protections you're trying to take, if people are laughing at you, let them laugh because your life is more important than, than what they think. And that's what I keep trying to tell myself and everyone else who feels, who's being smart, right? 